Here's to the grown-up. Your car is now your office. Stage. Nursery. Shh, sorry. Erie Insurance offers products that lots of other companies don't. That's a big deal. And it's a good deal, too. And with Erie, you get your own independent agent. Not a giant corporate call center or some online robot. You meet with a real person, like this. Your Erie agent in Spencer is the Ashley Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 304-927-2175. Erie Insurance. It's a very, very, very fine house. This is Jennifer Board-Nichols at Board Depew Realty. So many things have changed around us lately, and we are all concerned about what the future holds. During these uncertain times, we want you to know that one thing will not change, and that's the service and the professionalism we will offer you at Board Depew Realty. My grandmother started this company over 64 years ago, and one thing hasn't changed. If you use Board Depew Realty to buy or sell your home, you are guaranteed to receive service that is guided by principles like honesty and wisdom and a conscience. Owning a home is the American dream, and that hasn't changed. So let Board Depew Realty show you the way to that dream. Even if the times are changing, principles and service shouldn't. So let Board Depew Realty show you that some things remain the same. This message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, conveniently located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. I recently did some investigative shopping at three local stores in Spencer and found brand name toothbrushes and fluoride toothpaste for a dollar each and dental floss for a dollar twenty-five. That's three dollars and twenty-five cents for products that will provide multiple uses toward daily home preventive dental care. That's just pennies a day to brush twice a day and floss once a day. Compared to the current prices of soda pop and energy drinks and coffee drinks, these items are incredibly affordable. Brushing twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste, flossing once a day, and visiting your dentist twice a year can provide a lifetime of good dental health. Phone Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 for your family's professional dental care. That's Brandon Dental. 304-927-2775. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Rome County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Stop by D&D Motors for great deals on used cars. 
we have an incredibly diverse and continuously growing inventory to choose from, with many makes and models at price points that anyone can afford. D&D Service Department also offers oil changes, tire rotations, and other maintenance on your new purchase. Call D&D for your next service appointment. D&D Motors, located at 276 East Main Street in Spencer. Stop in and see Dan or Donna for your super deal today. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon, and close on Sunday. D&D Motors, call 304-519-2157. Rome County Family Health Care now has flu vaccinations available. People considered high risk for contracting the influenza virus include infants and children, pregnant women, seniors, people with disabilities or certain health conditions, and those who travel. The CDC recommends everyone six months of age and older should receive the vaccine annually. Ask your health care provider for one at your next scheduled visit or stop in anytime. No appointment necessary. Conveniently located behind Walmart, Hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., and Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Rome County Family Health Care, promoting health and wellness for the whole family. Visit the Garden Fresh Market in downtown Spencer. We stock fresh produce arriving daily. Let us create meat and cheese trays or veggie and fruit trays for your next event. Our kitchen is open daily, eat in or carry out, Monday through Saturday, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner with daily specials available. We also sell fresh flower arrangements at Taylor's Floral. The Garden Fresh Market. Give us a call at 304-927-5109 or stop in and see us at 229 Ripley Road in downtown Spencer. And let's go Raiders. Looking for someone to move dirt for your next project? Call Halls Excavating at 304-377-3372. We do commercial and residential excavating, so no job is too big or too small. We are a licensed contractor with years of experience. Call us at 304-377-3372. Halls Excavating. We dig West Virginia. Rome County Raider Boys Basketball is on the air. Stay tuned for all the exciting play-by-play -play action coming up next. Rome County High School Basketball is brought to you by these supporting sponsors. Rome General Hospital, McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliance, Jack Garrett Ford, Ashley Insurance, Old Fences Realty, Stats Pharmacy, Honest Fred Flooring, NV Graphics, Slate Auto and Transmission, D&D Motors, Hildra Supply, Family Health Care, Ford DePew Realty, Norman L. Daniels State Farm Agent, Hardman Supply, Garden Fresh Market, Carpenter's General Store, Poca Valley Bank, Spencer McDonald's, Spencer Cash Saver, Brandon Dennell, DW Excavating, Richards Lawn and Garden, Kirby Insurance, Halls Excavating, and sponsoring the player of the game, Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts. And now we take you courtside. Here's your Raider Broadcast crew, Andrew Miller and Matt White. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WVRC 104.7 FM's live coverage of Roan County High School boys basketball action. We welcome you back inside the castle here at Roan County High School as we prepare for Roan County versus Buffalo, the rematch. It is senior night. For those of you tuning in on our YouTube live stream, you'll see two senior basketball players honored before this contest, Adam Smith and Aiden Burr, also a couple of cheerleaders, Clarissa Kimmage and, um, oh, I've missed it. I've missed one. I had her in my head, and now I've forgotten. I can't believe I did that. Uh, Gilbert, Olivia Gilbert, thank you. It took me a second to get that. I did not want to miss that because I know I will feel the pain from that. Let's get back to basketball here, though, as Roan County and Buffalo getting set to square off for the second time in just a little over two weeks. Roan County finally got over the hump after that six-game losing streak. Five ranked opponents in that six-game stretch. They finally went on the road to Buffalo and defeated the Bison. They continued to play better each week or each day and each game, and they finally got over the mountain uh, on the 30th of January with a big 
246 victory, victory over Buffalo. Roan County comes in offensively a little bit sluggish this year with 47.2 points per game. Buffalo averaging 60.1. So you look at that 46 that Roan County held the Bison to, that's a big deal. Now, Roan County giving up 57 points per game, but in the last six contests, they have given up just 43 points per game. That includes last night right here against number three ranked South Harrison who they held to their lowest margin of the season with 48. Buffalo gives up points. They give up 59.7 points per contest. Rome County was right on that number in game number one between these two teams. An opportunity for Rome County to continue to build on the excitement that they've had over the last couple of weeks. They have won three of their last six and they darn near took out the number three South Harrison Hawks. Meanwhile, Buffalo 10 and 8 on the season, and they are winners of six of their last eight. The only two losses to Charleston Catholic and to Roan County. We'll see if the Raiders can continue to build off the momentum of the season. My name is Andrew Miller, alongside my partner Matt White. Katie Nutter is our camera person. George Allen, our studio technician, back at WVRC Control. Well, Roan County. They've got to stay humble because they are doing a great thing with building what they're doing. And they, they, as you mentioned the last game, Matt, they have found their M.O. They know what they're wanting to do this year. They're starting to do it very well. But, again, you've got a dangerous Buffalo guard-heavy team. The Raiders negated last time, but you got to do it again. It's never an easy task. Well, of course it's never an easy task because you know that Buffalo is going to uh, understand what the game plan is going to be, and they're going to know they have to be more efficient. Uh, with their shot opportunities because Roan County is looking to limit as many of those possessions as humanly possible. The last go around was when we really saw the bigs start to uh, uh, develop a and take over those contests that they should. The you have that size advantage. You've got to use it. Roan County out-rebounded Buffalo, a, a team that I was worried because Buffalo has the capabilities to rebound from the guard position and get out and run. That's what I think makes this team the most dangerous. Roan County, slow the ball down, get into your half-court sets, grind it, work your way inside to free up the outside shooting lanes. We're not a team that's going to shoot lights out from the beginning that's going to open the middle. You've got to work from the inside out. Pressure. I expect more teams to pressure Roan County, but we haven't seen it quite as much. Last night with uh, South Harrison, they were content to just sit back into that uh, half-court sets. Maybe Buffalo comes out, tries to press a little bit more than some other teams have. We'll see, because uh, this is a very quick guard-heavy team, like you mentioned. Uh, Bradley Harris, he's quick as lightning, a little undersized, but a great athlete. Caleb Nutter and Ian Thompson, you know, the, the two guys that really make this team run, so... You know, Roan County, slow the ball down, rebound, save every possession that you can and try to limit those mental mistakes. Find yourself out on top of this one. Really the three guards are what the Raiders need to watch for. All three in double figures on the year. Ian Thompson, 13.7. They're led by Caleb Nutter with 16.3 and then Bradley Harris with 12.1. Thompson is the big X factor here. He didn't have the best game the first time Roan County played uh, Buffalo. He was frustrated throughout. You could see his body language. He was frustrated. This young man just went over 500 assists for his career. He's got 133 this season. He doesn't need to score. He'll find everybody else to score. But I think that he was just frustrated in the way he was playing in that first game. And uh, if you could frustrate that young man again, that could help. Well, and the key was early in that ball game too. Uh, Thompson was held to three points and very minimal output in the first half. Now, he did finish with 12. Had a couple of three assists and a couple steals. Uh, it was Nutter that was the one that was really uh, taking over that game. He had 11 in the first half, but he cooled off in the second, held him to only 15 in that ball game. but he's a guy that can get up rebound, athletic guy. And, and then Harris out on the wing, you really got to watch him defensively. Uh, he's a guy that's like a, a bit of a free safety back there. He's, he's looking at those passing lanes, reading them, reacting. He's very quick. So if you're Roan County, you've got to take care of the basketball in your half-court set. Don't try too many of those cross-court passes because they run a bit more of a 2-3 type zone. So they're looking uh, you know, to get you, to bait you into throwing some of those passes cross-court 
and look for the interceptions and some easy transition buckets. Marone County averages 16 turnovers per game, just 10 for the Bison. They average 15.7 assists, 6.8, by the way, coming by Thompson on average. Let's see if the Roan County Raiders can continue to build the confidence that they have shown for the last three weeks. It's Roan County and it is Buffalo. We have the starting lineups and the opening tip coming up after these messages you're watching and listening to Raider basketball on WVRC. Primary care is like a bridge, moving you from one side where you need vaccinations, screenings, and medical advice to the other where you receive essential care to remain healthy and active. At Roan General Medical Clinic, our primary care team is here to help you cross that bridge to a healthier life. Roan General Medical Clinic, our providers are now accepting patients and offer care you can trust close to home. Slay that oh, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, slay that oh. And transmission. Slay that oh, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, slay that oh. And transmission. Visit Slate Auto and Transmission located at 302 Slate Road, Spencer for all of your car care needs. We offer a wide range of services including transmission work, new tires and alignments with brands like Mastercraft, Cooper and Goodyear, regular and modified state inspections, major and minor vehicle repairs. We also have ASE certified mechanics. We appreciate every one of our customers. Call us today at 304-927-2250 to schedule your next appointment. We are open Monday through Friday. Slate Auto and Transmission, quality repairs by people who care. We welcome you back inside the castle, getting set for Roan County and Buffalo. Starting lineups being introduced on the floor. Let's take a look first off at the Bison. Uh, you've got the 5'10 senior guard Caleb Nutter, 6'0 senior guard Ian Thompson, 5'10 senior guard Bradley Harris, 6'0 senior guard forward Evan Smalley, and the 5'10 senior forward, Blake Williams. For the first time in a long time, the Raiders will come out with a new starting lineup here tonight. And they will be led by one of the two seniors, the 5'9 senior guard, Adam Smith. The two guard, a 6'1 sophomore, Shea Harper. Three guard will be Coburn Cottrell, a 6'3 sophomore forward. Inside, 6'0 senior forward, Aiden Burr. And rounding out the starting lineup for Roan County, the 6'6 junior center, Grayson Keene. Now some tradition here for Roan County is we often start seniors. And I think that's a big thing, you know. Aiden and Adam, most definitely just JV players this year, seniors, but they've stuck it out. And in the, in the grand scheme of a game, what's more important? Probably this. I think so. Uh, you know, we've seen, you know, I saw some of that. Like get, seniors get out there on senior night and maybe don't even hit the floor. To me, that's just disrespectful. Yeah. This is a great show. Um, these are two guys, like you said, that maybe haven't played much at the varsity level. Uh, it's just a great show of respect for a couple of guys who have stuck it out for four years and, and glue guys for your program. And they're guys that are loved by the peers. The Roan Riot was lit up as senior night took place. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Here he comes. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, it's an interesting handshake. Intricate. So we are ready to go here. <laughs> We're at Stone Fan Club. They were fighting over that shirt that he threw out. I think he's getting that thing autographed after the after the game. Both teams taking the floor. Roan County in the home whites. Jerseys and shorts. Maroon letters and numbers. Roan across the chest in all caps. Navy blue for Buffalo. Jerseys and shorts. Gold letters and numbers. Buffalo in caps across the chest. All trimmed out in white. Center circle will be the 6'6", junior Grayson Keene. And Evan Smalley, the six-foot senior guard. Opening tip control by the Raiders. I'll see if they look to work the ball into Keene early in this one because 
And he's got a massive height advantage. Oh, Shea Harper will take it strong with a hoop to start. Spun at the free throw line and took it straight down the left side lane. All right, that'll work too. Wayne County strikes first. He'll go with a 2-3 zone. Bison will work the perimeter into the hands of Thompson. They yeah, gotta be quick out on the perimeter because this is a team that will pull the trigger just like that. Nutter pulls the trigger and Burr pulls down the first rebound. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> I love it. I love that kid. Harper moves left side. Keen looking inside to Kobe Cottrell. Takes it strong to the lane. The spin move layup is up and good. Contorting sideways, a very soft touch for the sophomore, Coburn Cottrell. A 4-0 lead for the Raiders early. That's that corner. Thompson left baseline, drives, goes high side. Partially blocked. Another rebound pulled down by the senior, Burr. That block by Keene. He's averaging two per game now. Cottrell gets under the basket. Raiders will bring it back on the wing. Left side, they'll dump it in. That was dangerous and stolen. By Williams, here comes Thompson, left side, straight to the lane, and Cottrell will not let him get the, the shot up as Coben will whistle, be whistled for the personal. Hey, Coben had good position and just came down with that little karate chop. The little hi ya will get you every time. And Coach Matt Brohart explaining that to him as well, saying, man, just keep your hands straight up and challenge it that way. Yeah, he played that very well, but, I mean, I understand you want to, Make sure that Thompson doesn't get that shot up, up because he is able to take contact and uh, get that to fall. Thompson missing on the first. Finds the mark on the second. Jerome County leading 4-1. A minute and a half gone by. And here comes that Brack court pressure. Jerome County handled it so well the first game. Lob pass front court left. They'll dump it into Keene. Straight to the basket. The layup is good and a foul. That's going to go against Evan Smalley. And now the Raiders will sub out the two seniors. Great job by Adam Smith, Aiden Burr. And Rowe County leads 6-1. to one. And I think when Coach Burrhard saw the pressure defense, you got to get your normal guards back in there. But those guys did a good job of bringing that ball up the floor. Giving Keen the opportunity here for that and one. Cam Thompson, Ian Lance in for the Raiders. Seven to one. And as Keen hits the three point play opportunity, now Roan County switches to the 3 2 matchup zone. Nutter out top, fires it to Harris, left side, gets into the lane. Cut off there by Cumston. Nutter spins, layup missed, rebound on the ground. Looking for Keen, ends up in the hands of Nutter, puts the shot up, no good. Cumston on the backside with the rebound. Ham into the front courts. Works it right wing to Shea. Cross court to Cumston. Cam brings it back out. They'll dump it into the right corner now. Patro looking for room inside, and we've got a whistle. And that's going to be number two on Smalley. Keen was posting up. They were getting physical. Smalley a little extra effort on the shove. And immediately, Smalley with two fouls will check out. As the 6'2 sophomore, Cameron Wallace, in. Yeah, Wallace, an athletic guy. He's be a little bit harder for Keen to move around inside. But... A dangerous pass inside. Cottrell came to, to meet it, though. Now comes to him. He saw the travel coming there. A good close out there by Harris. That guy was quick. He thought Cam might have a, 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 a outside shot opportunity, but the close out there from Harris really caused that that uh, travel. Nearly three minutes gone by in the first quarter. Roan County leading 7-1. Here's Thompson with the basketball. Left corner. Lobs it out between the circles. Nutter moves left. Harris guarded loosely. Back to the right side, Nutter spot up three. That one rattles home. Good looking shot off the screen by Caleb Nutter. And this is a very experienced Buffalo team as well. Five starting seniors. Cottrell driving baseline, tried to feed it in, tipped away by a defender. 
Nutter crosses. He'll pull up in transition for three, and that one's good. And that one quickly ties it. The six-point lead is erased, 7-7. Seven, seven. I just like that, back-to-back -back possessions. Nutter with the deep ball. Keen on the elbow rights. The work at left wing. Back inside, Keen posting, spins baseline. Layup missed underneath. Good defense by Wallace. Had those hands straight up and down. Now Thompson attacking. Out top, Wallace, 15-foot jumper. Rims out, Keen pulls it off of the rim. Four minutes, 15 seconds left. First quarter, we're tied at seven. Raiders working a weave right now, right wing. Contra one dribble, whistle out top, and we've got a shove. And that's going to be Cam Cumpson on the shove. So it will be Buffalo basketball. Cumpson and Nutter went after it after Cumpson with that travel a second ago. A little ch chattering. That may have continued on that play. Now here's Harris, deep three, and that one's good. Uh-oh. Buffalo shooting well early, Mats. Yeah, that's tough when this team starts lighting those deep balls up. Whistle, and now you got Koba Contro on the charge. Little elbow. And Coben has picked up number two early. Rome County down 10-7. 345 left. You'll see the sophomore Nick Taylor come to the scores table to check in for Rome County. Screen set for Harris into the lane. 14-foot pull-up. Nothing but net. Boy, the bison are lighting it up right now. Four for their last four, and two of them were from the three. They lead by five. Harper into the lane. Dishes opposite corner. Lance looking for Caldwell under the basket. And Caldwell gets all the way under and steps on the end line. Now some help defense for the Bison. Kind of closed off that end line. And Cald Caldwell was already committed. Cottrell will check out with the two early fouls. Yeah, you get two defenders and that baseline. It's essentially like a triple team. Rome County falls asleep. Thompson finds Nutter underneath. And it's another assist for Ian Thompson, and it's now a seven-point lead for the Bison on a 13-0 run. 30-second break. We'll be back. Come into Stats Pharmacy where our patient's good health is our main concern. We have a drive through window where you can conveniently drop off and pick up your prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Refill your prescriptions anytime online at www.statspharmacy.com or from your iPhone or Android phone using the Refill RX mobile app. No waiting in long lines. Just call ahead and your order will be waiting for you. We look forward to serving you at Stats Pharmacy, located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. You can call us at 304-927-2980. Hello, settling timeout, hopefully, for Coach Brohard's crew as they led 7-1 to to start this ball game, and now they trail 14-7. to Buffalo lighting it up from outside on the 13-0 run. Yeah, just everything falling. These guys are getting to the... Getting to their spots, getting some good shots, taking some deep threes. If a team's making shots like that, it's going to be tough for Rome County if this continues. Now work at right corner. Here's Lance for three, and he banks it in. We'll take it. Oh, Whatever he can get. Lance leads this team in threes made with 32 now. That helps Rome County. Clots the bleeding. Gets them to within four. Thompson working over on the right side. Nutter out top. Nutter. Banging into the lane, misses, air balls to 15 footer. Good defense by the Raiders. They see the switch up out of the zone. They're going straight man to man. Put Shea Harper on Caleb Nutter. That's just athlete for athlete right there. And if you're a Roan County fan, you'll take Shea Harper on that one every day. Oh, Shea and Ian run into each other. The ball's loose. Nutter takes it. Nutter under the basket. The layup is good and a foul. Taylor, I like the idea. He just got there under the basket as Nutter was already up in the air. Yeah, just a little bit too late to get to that one. Yeah. Showing the toughness, though, of course. Well, I called him a bulldog the last game, and he is just that. Again, he's undersized 
And he took some big contact, another way up in the air with a knee right into the chest. And Nick popped right back up. Nutter for the three-point play short. Rebound tipped around out top, and Roe County's going to foul. Caldwell trying to get to that loose ball. A little bit of a shove off. Actually, though, they got Cam on that one. Yeah, they got I thought that was Caldwell. Instead, they get Cumston on a reach in. So that's two on Cam, and you see Preston Green at the scores table now. Here's a deep three thrown up. That's missed by Pitchford. Backside rebound, and that's going to be Taylor. And Wallace whistled for the shove. They just got a little bit of body contact on Taylor on that baseline. It wasn't a full-on shove, but... So you've got both Cottrell and Cumston, two of the ball handlers with two fouls at the two-minute mark in the first quarter. Taylor will run the points. He'll rifle the green in the front court right. Back to Nick. Back to Preston. Foul line area. Harper has it go between the legs. Picks it back up into the paint. Jump stop. Good. Good. What a shot. A beautiful take down the middle of the lane. Elm County back within four. Here's Thompson working in the lane. 13 footer rolls off. Rebound underneath and saved in off of a defender into the hands of Taylor. Good hustle by Sean Caldwell. Elm County fortunate that was an easy looking shot for Thompson right in the middle of the lane. Taylor, or sorry, in the lane goes Harper, feeds it right wing. The shot up no good. But well, Caldwell got away with a travel there on the rebound. We'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely uh, about five steps worth. Yes, the official thought he may, didn't, may not have had con control of the basketball. Shea in the lane, got a whistle underneath now. And another offensive foul. I think it was going on Caldwell. Maybe. Or a three-second violation. Oh, okay, there we go. 103 left here in the first quarter. No County started hot, 7-1. A 13-0 run for Buffalo to lead 7 or 14-7. And now the two have kind of settled into the ball game. 16 to 12, the Bison leading. The work perimeter, left wing, right foot inside. Pitchford layup missed, rebound on the back side. Cleared, here comes Harper. 45 on the, sh on the clock. Good help defense there from Taylor. Taylor out top, Luke's open. He's got a three, that one rims out on the side. Didn't look like he was quite confident shooting that ball. He's got a good three-point shot. Here's Harris into the lane, drives and pitches, and he's going to be bumped on the shot. That's Wallace. Get Ian Lance on that one. That will send Wallace to the free throw line for a pair. First free throw rims off the side. So we're settled into the battle now. Both these teams fought hard in the first matchup. Roan County, too much for the Bison. Down the stretch, 59-46 victory. The Bison lead by five now as Wallace hits the second. Yeah, Roan County's defense has finally settled down a little bit. Not giving up quite as many open looks as we did during that 13-0 run. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Harper falls down and throws it away. I think he was expecting contact. Wallace pulled the chair out from him. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened there, Drew. Now Jackson Mallet will check in for Wallace with 14 seconds left in the first. I think it's a smart move to get Wallace out. He's got a foul. He had, had some foul trouble in the first meeting with these two teams. He tried to rest him for that last 10 seconds. Into the hands of Nutter. Slides by one defender, and I think Harper with the hip check. And it will be Shea. Number one on Shea. 8.3 seconds remaining. And that is already the seventh team foul on Roan County. Wow. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yes. You got to understand that though, at this point in the ball game, you're this far in, you're in a, no further than this, and you've got this many fouls. They're going to call everything, so you can't get away with sloppy contact. You've got to be quicker with your first step and read those uh, directions you're not going they're not going to give you those little hip checks first free throw good for nutter 
The lead is back out to six. And this one rolls off. Rebound, Pittsburgh back up and in. And Coach Matt Bohart is livid. He wanted an over-the-back call. Here is Green at the buzzer. No good. And after one, it's 18 to 12, the lead in favor of Buffalo. You're watching and listening to Raider Basketball on WVRC. Oh, what a night. Late December back in 22. Car broke down and then I felt so blue. I remember what a night. We had very cold weather in December of 22. Don't let your car break down on you. Be proactive and keep it in the best shape possible. Check your battery, chassis parts, brakes, alternators, starters, wiper blades, rotors, and filters. Then go to Willard Starters to get the good stuff. Don't break down in the cold. Keep your car running with the quality parts from the professional staff at Willard Starters. Dial 304-927-2520. Willard Starters parts can help keep your car running. We welcome you back inside the castle, getting set for the second quarter. Well, Roan County on senior night started off hot. Seven points in the first minute and a half. They led 7-1, but just five points since then. And now it's an eight-point lead for Buffalo, 20-12. to yeah, Pretty uh, low statistical other than the scoring. Five to four, Roan County leads in rebounds, three to two. In the assist margin for the Bison, 3-0 Bison in steals and 1-0 in blocked shots for Roan County. So we're ready to go here in the second quarter. It will be Bison basketball. Now work into this motion offense so quick. Nutter into the paint and he's going to call. He'll be called for the travel. He was trying to pump a couple of times, and Harper didn't fall for it. A good and job to stay down there on defense, not biting on those pump fakes. Again, Rogue County in foul trouble early. You got two on Cumston, who's in now, and two on Cottrell as well. He is on the bench. Harper into the paint, looking opposite. Preston Green drives and dishes. Jump stop. Left-handed layup by Harper. Boy, he is so quick with his jump stop, and then right back up he goes. The well, thing with Shea is he can shoot with either hand, it seems like. He's just as efficient with his left as he is his right. Raiders to within six. The attack by Mallet. High arcing shot misses. Harper underneath with the rebound. Saves it in as he falls out of bounds. Raiders quickly into the front court. It'll be given back to Shea, and Shea's going to be called for the charge there. Yeah, that's that's an easy one. You duck your shoulder like that. They're going to call you for it every time. Yeah, you could see that one coming. I think Shea may have not really realized which way he wanted to turn and kind of just backed into Nutter. So now you got two apiece on Shea, Cam, and Coben. Eighth team foul of the half, and it's just a minute going by in the second quarter. Mallet wants to attack left side. He'll hand it off. Thompson. Moves right, high arcing layup, misses, rebound, Shea again. Well, he said he hustles, and he absolutely does. He earned that defensive board. Raiders on offense, Green, one hands it between the circles. Quick touch pass, Harper back out to Ian. Lance moves left wing. When you see Buffalo with just packing the lane, not letting the ball go into Keene, that's clogging everything up for your guys to try to drive. Back to Harper, foul line, and he's going to pick up another. Boy, just leaned his body into Harris, and that's a couple of tough fouls for Shea here. Yeah, I mean, it, tough fouls, but you got to understand, you, you just got called for that. That dip in the shoulder and going into a guy's chest, they're not going to give it to you tonight. He could have maybe taken that jump stop around the side, but uh, he was taking the attack straight to Harris. And Harris stood his ground. So three on Shea. He is on the bench now. Roan County depleted early in this ball game. 20 to 14. Roan County still within six. Out top. Here's Williams for three. That's good. 
Now the Bison have shot well from outside. Monk County trails by nine now. Inside King, top side, here we go. Misses the layup underneath the rebound. Saved in by Adam Smith, unfortunately. It was saved to a Bison. That's Nutter. Nutter hands it off in the front court. Thompson off the screen, backs up. Left wing, Nutter, and he's, he pulled that back foot. Yeah. <laughs> now Ian Lance will check out. So we've got an interesting offensive set here for O'Kenny. Preston Green, Cam Cumston out top, Adam Smith as well, and then you got the two bigs in, so you've got a really small outside and a really big inside. Well, we saw a little bit of the two big set the last time against Buffalo, and it worked fairly well. Cross court dish, Smith out top, Green, touch pass, the work at left side, wide open, three! And that was a nice answer. Good ball movement, leaving Cam Cumston wide open. That's what you want, getting that ball in the high post around that free throw line area. Turn, find the opposite guy. Great job to knock it down. Bison working the perimeter. Dumps it in, stolen by Smith. How about the senior on senior night? Well, we had Bo with a couple of boards, and now we've got Smith with a steal. Adam between the circles. Moves right side. Into the foul line. They'll look opposite. Smith firing the three. That one Smith, the senior, puts it to three, and the road riot is going ballistic. <laughs> and a timeout coming for the Bison as the Raiders, depleted with foul problems, calling on everybody and helping their cause. 23 20, Bison, 425 left in the half. Erie Insurance says here's to the grown-ups who move, mortgage, mow, and still bust a move. But does your home insurance still fit? Erie helps you protect the home you've grown into, all at fair prices that are often less than the other guys. So how do you find the right coverage? Magic. Nope. Local independent agents who get to know you like this. Your Erie agent in Spencer is the Ashley Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 304-927-2175. Erie Insurance. Well, you've got three on the bench with foul problems. Well, one of them's on the floor. You got three on Shea Harper. You got two apiece on Cam Cumston and Cottrell. We're in the first half still. You call on anybody you can find. You got Preston Green in there. You got the senior Adam Smith with a steal and a big trifecta. Yeah, great couple of series there for the Raiders. Working that ball to the high post, kicking it over. Big shot there from Adam Smith. Cuts the deficit from nine down to three. Thompson and Smith back-to-back three-pointers. And the Raiders right back in at 4-10 left half. Thompson drives, rifles it left side, out on the wing. Here's a three for Harris. That one long miss, and the rebound cleared by Cottrell, or sorry, Caldwell. Inside Keene, high side, layup off the rim, rebound tipped around. Keene's got it again, and we've got a whistle and a jump ball. A jump ball in that situation. Wow, Keen is <laughs> okay. Wondering what in the world happened there. He was getting slapped at and hacked at. Still, the, the ball is Roan County's. Yeah, he and Caldwell both working hard under there trying to keep that one alive. Out top, Roan County works it. Green and Smith, the two guards out top with 340 left in the half. Green. Bounces it, elbow right, out top, Cumston, Cam, gets a screen, attacks into the lane, layup is good. Screen set by Caldwell. The Raiders to within one. Oh, nice ball screen, a good job hanging in the air. Cam Cumston able to knock that drive down. Burn County right back in this one. 320 left in the half. Pitchford on the wing left, out top, Harris looking to drive. Slits two defenders, muscles it up, just holds it on the rim. Man. They had to stick them, and it fell through. That breaks the scoring drought for the Bison. Roan County to within three, though. Out top, Smith looking to drive. Dishes corner. Here's Caldwell for three. Hits the front of the rim, and Harris clears it. That was a good, solid look, though, for Sean. Yeah, that's a, I'm okay with that. You know Sean can knock that one down. 25-22, Bison by three. 2.45, mark first half. 
Working off screens. They'll get it into Harris. His hands on the left wing. Now top nutter. Fires a quick three. Bears it. The Bison shooting tremendous from the outside in this first half. Man. Man, oh, man. Somehow, some way, the Raiders within six, though. Caldwell, corner right, gives it back to Smith. Come on, bring it back around. Keen's working hard under there. Whistle underneath, and there is the foul. You mentioned it, <laughs> Matt, and you drew it as Blake Williams with the bear hug. Keen is just a mass body. He is very solid, wide shoulders, and when he gets big, he is huge. Now, Williams, he was trying to use that low center of gravity. And I think we're going to get another one in a row here as Blake Williams is going to get the reach-in foul as the inbounds comes to Caldwell. So Williams has picked up two quickly. Evan Smalley back to the scores table. He'll check in with two fouls. Two minutes, 14 seconds remaining. 28-22, Bison with the lead. Inbounds, left corner, they'll dump it in. Caldwell has it tipped away from behind. Preston Green there to take it. Dumps it back inside. Caldwell right on the block. Assist Preston Green. Caldwell with a high finish. Uh, good work underneath. Uh, beautiful delivery there from Preston Green. Under two minutes remaining here in the first half. Raiders fighting some foul problems and tremendous outside shooting for the Bison. Here's another three put up left wing. Nothing but net that time for Smalley. Everyone contributing for the Bison outside. Yeah, that's the tough part with so many guards. You know, it's going to pull your bigs away and have them trying to guard on the perimeter. That time, Keen just not able to get to that closeout. Caldwell having to play a little bit of wing here. Green, left wing, extended, foul line area, Keen. One dribble, back out top to Cumston. Cam attacking, trying to split a pair of defenders, got a jump ball. That was good hands by Nutter to get in and tie that one up. I think he got all ball on that one. Yeah, Cam just could not get that muscle up through the first defender. Yeah, if he could have ripped that through just a little bit lower and maybe got the contact on the arm and possibly drawn a foul, but... Minute 10 left, Thompson. Ball on a yo-yo right now between the circles. Smalley left wing. Out top, Thompson. Roe County trying to recover defensively. Nutter wide open, three good. Heat. And Nutter has not missed since the first quarter. And he's, what, he missed one? He's knocked down four now. Lead back out to ten after Roan County cut it down to three. Inside, good dish by Green right at the block. Oh, layup missed, though, by Keene. Just rolled it off the right side. Here comes Thompson straight to the lane. Layup up, no good. Rebound, Smalley underneath, and you got a couple of Raiders under middle, underneath. And which one will it be? Caldwell on that one. Give a warning to... Coach Brohart on the sideline. Well, that's a first. I've never seen the warnings. I've only seen just a straight tee. That's solid officiating. I'll take Give it. Give a guy a chance. That will send Smalley to the line. That, that, is, rebound, that offensive rebound. That's the 10th team foul on Rome County. First on Sean. And Evan Smalley, the six-foot senior, Hits the first. Boy, the Bison lighting it up from the field and the foul line. They have not missed many here. Give the Raiders a lot of credit right now. Trying to hang close with this hot shooting Bison team. Yeah, they've hit seven from beyond the arc. Substitution of Smalley back out. In comes Cameron Wallace. A little offense-defense substitution there for this last 30 seconds. Thompson will cross it. And he'll slow it down a bit between the circles. Launches it into the right corner. Caldwell brings it back out to Smith. 15 on the clock. Smith tries to pass over. Attacking the rim is Cumston, and he'll draw the contact on Wallace. 
That was a smart move by Cam. He saw that tip, took off after it, and basically it was a run to the basket. Yeah, he caught that thing with momentum going to the bucket. It didn't back down from contact from the much bigger Wallace. Took it right to his chest, drew the foul. Strong, though, on the first free throw. No good. Wallace back out with two fouls. Jackson Mallett in. This is basically an eight-man rotation for the Bison. And the second four comes to up in the air. Good. One of two. The lead is back down to 11. Ten seconds left. Into the front court quickly. Harris into the paint. High arcing layup. No good. And we've got a foul coming on Thompson. Yeah, he As he came flying in from the foul line. And now Caldwell is bleeding. Yeah, he took one right to the chops on that up underneath the basket going up for that one. And, you know, Thompson just flying in trying to make a play. Yeah, Caldwell took an elbow or something there as Thompson. And again, just a hustle play by Ian. Nothing malicious about it. He was just yeah. trying to get in there and make a play with five seconds left. So if Caldwell is out, then Rome County will have to have another shooter for him. Trying to sort out who's going to be shooting these free throws. So here's what happened. Coach Brohard was bringing Burr, the senior, in already. And then he was going to bring Pottrell in to shoot the free throws. Officials said, no, you brought Burr in to shoot the free throws. So how about the moment for the senior, Aiden Burr? I know the student section is excited. One plus the bonus. Free throw up. No, no doubt about it. And the road riot is losing it. How about the young man? That was a pure. You already knew, though, Drew. You already knew. You already knew. Cuts it down to 10. <laughs> Burr trying to make it a single-digit deficit. Second one. Oh. Short. Long rebound. Track down. Thompson, it's thrown away, though, with 2.8 seconds left. And the Raiders have a chance here. That was Pitchford with that rebound. He was trying to get the ball out quickly to Thompson, coming down the sideline. It went out right here near the scorer's table. 2.8 on the clock. Green looking. Gets it into Burr. He'll fire it up at half court. <laughs> and the Raiders, I tell you, being down 10, the way the Bison are shooting here in the first half, I'll have to say I'll take it. Let's hope that the Raiders can build and the uh, Bison can maybe cool off here after 2. 36-26, you're watching and listening to Rome County Raider basketball on WVRC. House is a very, very, very fine house. This is Jennifer Board Nichols at Board de Pew Realty. So many things have changed around us lately, and we are all concerned about what the future holds. During these uncertain times, we want you to know that one thing will not change, and that's the service and the professionalism we will offer you at Board de Pew Realty. My grandmother started this company over 64 years ago, and one thing hasn't changed. If you use Board de Pew Realty to buy or sell your home, you are guaranteed to receive service that is guided by principles like honesty and wisdom and a conscience. Owning a home is the American dream, and that hasn't changed. So let Board de Pew Realty show you the way to that dream. Even if the times are changing, principles and service shouldn't. So let Board de Pew Realty show you that some things remain the same. This message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, conveniently located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. I recently did some investigative shopping at three local stores in Spencer and found brand name toothbrushes and fluoride toothpaste for a dollar each and dental floss for a dollar twenty-five. That's three dollars and twenty-five cents for products that will provide multiple uses toward daily home preventive dental care. That's just pennies a day to brush twice a day and floss once a day. Compared to the current prices of soda pop and energy drinks and coffee drinks, these items are incredibly affordable. 
brushing twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste, flossing once a day, and visiting your dentist twice a year can provide a lifetime of good dental health. Phone Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 for your family's professional dental care. That's Brandon Dental, 304-927-2775. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Rome County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Spencer Cash Saver is excited to announce that we are now accepting EBT payments through our online grocery site. Go to shop.spencercashsaver.com, schedule a convenient pickup time, fill your cart, then let us do the shopping for you. Give us a call when you arrive, and we'll bring your order right out to your vehicle. The $4.95 pickup fee is waived on orders over $100. So save time and shop online at shop.spencercashsaver.com. Stop by D&D Motors for great deals on used cars. We have an incredibly diverse and continuously growing inventory to choose from with many makes and models at price points that anyone can afford. D&D Service Department also offers oil changes, tire rotations, and other maintenance on your new purchase. Call D&D for your next service appointment. D&D Motors, located at 276 East Main Street in Spencer. Stop in and see Dan or Donna for your super deal today. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon, and closed on Sunday. D&D Motors, call 304-519-2157. Rome County Family Health Care now has flu vaccinations available. People considered high risk for contracting the influenza virus include infants and children, pregnant women, seniors, people with disabilities or certain health conditions, and those who travel. The CDC recommends everyone six months of age and older should receive the vaccine annually. Ask your health care provider for one at your next scheduled visit or stop in anytime. No appointment necessary. Conveniently located behind Walmart, Hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., and Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Rome County Family Health Care, promoting health and wellness for the whole family. Visit the Garden Fresh Market in downtown Spencer. We stock fresh produce arriving daily. Let us create meat and cheese trays or veggie and fruit trays for your next event. Our kitchen is open daily, eat in or carry out, Monday through Saturday, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner with daily specials available. We also sell fresh flower arrangements at Taylor's Floral. The Garden Fresh Market. Give us a call at 304-927-5109 or stop in and see us at 229 Ripley Road in downtown Spencer. And let's go Raiders. We welcome you back inside the castle at the half. You see the score on the board. Those of you watching us on YouTube, uh, those of you not, it's 36 to 26. Buffalo leading Rome County. 
Uh, the Raiders, uh, I would imagine, be thanking their lucky stars that be down only 10 in this game due to two reasons. Early foul trouble for Roan County and absolutely insanely good shooting from the outside by the Bison. And Roan County still down just 10. Uh, it started off well on senior night for Roan County. Of course, the two seniors, Aiden Burr and Adam Smith, getting the start. Roan County on the first minute and a half with those two in lead 7-1. to one. A tremendous start for Roan County. Uh, and then the Bison got going. Roan County hit a cold snap of about two minutes. That's all it took for the Bison to put 13 on the board. So a 13-0 run got the Bison up 14-7. to Roan County cut it back down to 14-10. to And the two exchange blows for the rest of the first quarter. Second quarter, the Bison just more of the same. Roan County had, uh, at one point, Cam Cumston and Coben Cottrell both on the bench with two early fouls. And then early in the second period, Shea Harper picked up fouls two and three back-to-back both on charges, so he had to check out of the ball game. You had Shea Harper and Kobe Cottrell both on the bench for the remainder of the first half of play, and you had Cam Cumston, Preston Green, Adam Smith in there. You had two bigs at one point. Uh, every once in a while you had Ian Lance in there, but uh, it was just kind of a hodgepodge crew that you put together out on the floor, and they battled, man. They got uh, down 10. They got it back down to three. And uh, they just weren't able to stop the, the, the shooting uh, of Buffalo in that second quarter. The Bison just nailing three after three after three. And, uh, I, again, down 10, I'll take that the way that first half kind of shook out. Yeah, like I said, seven threes in the half for the Bison. Four of those from Caleb Nutter. He led that team with 17 points. Uh, other than that, I mean, you know, you had some guys hitting some shots here and there. But you got to slow Nutter down. But he took some deep threes. Yeah, that just uh, we didn't see him knock a lot of those down in the first meeting. If he can just slow down the hot shooting, Roan County will be all right. He led the rebound margin 11 to 8, 7 to 6 assist advantage Bison, 3 to 1 advantage in steals for the Bison, and a 1 0 in block shots for Roan County. Uh, balanced for the Raiders, Cam Cumston, 6 points, a rebound and an assist. Shea Harper, 6 points, 3 rebounds. Then you had Coben Cottrell, two points and an assist. Grayson Keene, three points, two rebounds, one block shot. Sean Caldwell, two points, two rebounds, two assists, and one bloody nose. Ian Lance, three points. And then you had Adam Smith with three points and one steal. And Aiden Burr with one point and two rebounds. Nick Taylor, one rebound. And Preston Green with two assists for Run County in that half. We mentioned Nutter, 17 points, a couple rebounds, a couple steals. And you had Bradley Harris, 7 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Evan Smalley, 5 points, 1 rebound. Ian Thompson held in check again, 1 point, 1 rebound, but he did have 3 assists. Blake Williams knocked down a triple. He had a steal as well. Nick Pitchford with 2, and Cameron Wallace with 1. Round out the scoring for the Bison. Added up 36-26. Rome County trails, second half action. Thompson, Harper, Lance, Cottrell, and Keene for Rome County. Thompson, Nutter, Smalley, Harris, and where's the last one? Williams for the Bison. Rome County possession to begin. Lance out top, looking left wing. Here's a three thrown up. That one hits the front of the rim by Cumston. That was good rotation of the ball, though. And the rebound cleared by the Bison. We'll find out if the Bison's still shooting well. There's Nutter right off the bat. That was a good challenge by Cottrell. Got a hand up, and Nutter unable to connect on that one. Keen clears the rebound. Front court lob pass, left to right to left inside. Lance looking for Keen. High arcing layup, missed rebound. Shea Harper, soft put back. It's good for Shea. Shea's been very active around the basket in this one. He's got four rebounds leading the Roan County Raiders. Rome County cuts it to single figures right off the bat. A minute gone by in this third quarter. Thompson works off the screen, moves left, now back to the right, now under the basket, a no-look dish. Williams in the corner for three. That one's short. Lance couldn't hold on to it, though. Lance looking for a foul on that rebound attempt that he was held. Unfortunately, though, the ball ricocheted off of Ian. Right baseline inbound for Thompson. 
Fires it out to the wing left. Harris for three. That one's short. Rebound though, Smalley. The putback, that one misses. And Smalley going to reach in on Keene's rebound. That's number three on Evan Smalley. Tough break. Smalley made a good move. Got Keene in the air. Thought he had an easy bucket. And, and missed the cherry. And then that's a frustration foul trying to get back on that offensive glass. Jackson Mallet quickly in for Smalley. 6.35 remaining in the third quarter, just beginning the second half of play. Well, we've seen some misses outside already for the Bison. Let's hope that can continue. Right elbow. Cottrell gives it to Harper. Out top now to Cumston. Lobs over right wing. Shea crosses it over to Lance, left wing. Ian back out between the circles. Now Cumston works it over to the right side. Here's Shea attacking baseline under the basket. Lance, wide open three, left side. Way too strong. Keen with the backside rebound. Gives it back to Cottrell. Now Harper comes out top to take it. Back to Cottrell. Cut off on the baseline drive. Looking inside for Keen. Tipped away. Back to, to Coben. And Coben goes straight across the lane <laughs> to keep that basketball. And that one was nearly stolen on three separate occasions. Inside the pass to Keen on the left block up and good. And these guards are finding the proper spot. Keen is holding his, heart, his hand out, and that time Cumston fell right in. Yeah, Keen's had a few good looks at the basket that time, was able to get that one nice and soft off the glass. Now Mallet from way downtown, no good. Rebound Cottrell. Early three-point shot for Mallet in Roan County. They are on a 4-0 start to this second half. Pass underneath. Keen couldn't hold that one. Mm. Lance was trying to dump it over top of the head of the Buffalo defender. Yeah, well, that's a tough angle. I mean, I like the idea of trying to get that ball up high for your post guy to get a hold of it, but yeah, there was some good help defense on the back side there would have made that one very tough. Ian Thompson, over 500 assists in his career. He has been a distributor. Here comes Nutter attacking in the lane, throws it wildly underneath. Luckily for him, Williams there. Now Thompson attacking, got a jump ball coming, and Shea Harper with the three fouls had his hand right palmed on it. Ooh, dangerous. Get Caldwell coming in here. He's got a wardrobe change at halftime. Rocket number 32 after the blood. We have the first half. Lance will check out. It looks more like a big man number anyway. Absolutely. Well, he fancies himself a bit of an outside guy, so. Yeah. yeah, Harper with those three fouls, that was scary. Five minutes remaining third quarter. Thompson off the screen. His first real look tonight, and Thompson hits it. 38-30, Roan County. Let's cut it from 10 down to six, now back to eight. Raider possession, right wing. Harper bounces it into Keene, high side. Soft touch, off the backboard and good, right in front of the basket. Keen starting to get rolling. Lead back down to six. Thompson attacking and dishing. Nutter wide open three-pointer. There it is. Not the guy you want to leave in the corner wide open. Now that's what Thompson does. He's so fast into the paint, it almost leaves you panicked. So a lot of guys crash, and that leaves other guys open. Well, it leaves you a little bit frozen in your tracks as well. There's Thompson going to try his own three. That one misses. Great rebounding for Buffalo. They boxed everybody out. They had both the two bigs sealed off. Uh, it was just proper technique, getting, a, getting your backside right into a guy's hip pocket. Nowhere to go. Nine-point lead for the Bison, 41-32. Less than four minutes remaining here in the third. Harris has it left wing, brings it back out. Now slips and falls, picks the basketball up. Back to Thompson out top. Thompson wants to attack to the free throw line, picks it up. Left wing Harris. They're out driving baseline. Pull up jumper over Keen's arms. No good with a shot. Keen clears it. Outlet pass. Cumston. Here comes Cam. Looking. Nowhere to go. He'll bring it back out top, and Roan Kenny will work half court. Cottrell, who's been silent tonight offensively. Out top. They'll dump it corner left. Here's a 15 footer for Caldwell. That one misses short. Thompson wants to move. No look dish down the court, and there is Nutter. Wide open, and that did not please. Both Matt Rohar, time out of the floor. We'll take it with them. 3.03 left in the third, 43-32, the lead for the Bison. Looking for someone to move dirt for your next project? 
Call Halls Excavating at 304-377-3372. We do commercial and residential excavating, so no job is too big or too small. We are a licensed contractor with years of experience. Call us at 304-377-3372. Halls Excavating. We dig West Virginia. Three minutes and three seconds remaining in the third quarter. Roan County has been a yo-yo first part of the second half. Down 43-32. Roan County cut it quickly to six. Went back to eight, back to six. And now it is 11. And what we're seeing is I think Ian Thompson really directing things right now. He realized that the Bison were not shooting great from outside. In fact, they've missed all but one. But uh, he's taking it now into the lane and distributing. He's getting it down the floor quickly. He's really challenging this Roan County defense to move. Yeah, he is because early on, Buffalo was able to connect on some of those three-point opportunities by just standing a few feet back behind the line and just chucking the ball up and making them. You know, the Roan County defense was collapsing, you know, pursuing that on the perimeter. Now you've got Thompson sucking the defense into the lane and then finding those kickouts and letting his guy ca guys catch in rhythm makes a big difference when you're trying to get yourself back on track shooting from the outside. Roan County possession, three minutes remaining in the third. Lance dumps it, foul line. Here's Cottrell, his first look. That one misses short. Now the Raiders not shooting the ball particularly well here in the third. You got to keep trying to get that ball inside. Use your size advantage. That's what worked so well in this first meeting. You can't look at the fact that it's an 11-point lead and think you have to get it back all in one. Now lots of basketball. Nutter off a screen, gets top side. Rifles at Harris, quickly to the lane, and he will draw the contact. And he basically took that ball up and then took the ball to his right foot to keep it away from Keene. He did everything he could with his body, his limbs and all to try to keep that thing out of the reach of the big center Keene. That's the first foul on Grayson as Harris misses on the first attempt. Williams out. And back in is Jackson Mallett. Two minutes, 28 seconds left here in the third. And the second for Harris rims out as well. Keen skies in for the board. 0 for 2, empty possession. Call it a good foul for Keen. Roan County down 11, though. Dangerous pass over there looking to cross it. Nutter got a hand in, but Roan County ends up with a loose ball. Lance left wing again. Back out top to Cottrell, right wing. Thompson looking in, nowhere to go with it. They're doubling right now, Keene. Across at left wing, dump it inside Harper. In the paint, nowhere to go. Gives it back out top for a three, good! Another one for the sophomore, Cam Cumston, and Roan County cuts it back down to eight. Run 50 left in the third. Mallet out top, works it to Harris, into the corner right, Thompson. Nutter looking to drive, penetrates, bounce pass up in the sky, and that's going to go out of bounds, Roan County possession. He just got caught in the air, nowhere to go. And Nutter tried a uh, <clears throat> kind of a hard bounce pass, just trying to get that ball up high in the air so it'll give one of his guys a chance. Unfortunately, just overshot its target and out of bounds. Big decision here for Coach Brohard, three fouls on Harper. He'll check out the final minute, 30 seconds of the third. Roan County down 43-35. Into the front court, Lance holds it. Cottrell looking to feed it inside to Keene, and there was a lot of hands in between that. Tipped away, stolen. Here's Thompson. Behind the back to the baseline, right side under the basket. Nutter open in the corner again. Wow. Mm. Nutter is absolutely on fire tonight. 6-3, is that correct? That is number six. Lead back out to 11, inside Keene, posting up on Wallace. Layup missed, though, rebound cleared by Nutter. Lyson on the move, under a minute left. Nutter to the foul line, no look dish. Wallace, 15-footer, that one off the mark. Rebound, Grayson Keene. And number eight for Keene in the rebounds. 45 seconds left in the third. Roan County down 11. Inside Keene again, muscles it up from 14 feet. That one off the mark. Well, Keen has missed some looks here in the third. Uh, the last couple, he's been fading away a little bit. He needs to be going toward the basket. Well, Thompson spins high side, lays it up, and it's blocked right back down by Grayson. 
Another block for Keene. 20 seconds left in the third. Taylor bouncing it into Keene. He's deeper this time, and he'll draw the contact on Wallace. That was the best look for him in the last three. Yeah, that's that's the better job of getting position close to the basket as you can. You got Wallace on that right in that hip pocket. That is number three. Well, they get Wallace on that. They've got Smalley's number listed, but he's not in the game. Yeah, I'm that was sure Wallace. They, pretty sure they messed that one up. As Keen hits the first free throw, we'll blame Pat Lance on that one. How many does Wallace have? Three. Still has three. Keen second up off the side of the rim. Rebound tracked down by Mallet. 15 on the clock. Raiders down 10. Harris front court quickly. Right wing. Thompson, here he goes. Attacking left side. 14 foot pull up jumper. Rims out. Rebound Williams. Hook back good and a foul. And Nick Taylor underneath there, grappling for that rebound. Called for the foul, and the basket is good. Williams shot no good. Keen yet another board. Three on the clock. Cottrell, deep shot no good at the buzzer. And Rogue County down by 12. Well, they were down 10 at the half, only lost two. In that half, fourth quarter to come. You're watching and listening to Kenny High School Raider Boys Basketball on WVRC. Did you know Hardman's is now stocking Trex decking? That's right. You don't have to worry with staining your deck anymore with Trex decking. We have three colors in stock to choose from, so you can buy it today and install it tomorrow. Ask about special financing options and enjoy your new deck all summer long. Looking to beat the heat and upgrade the inside of your home this summer? Call Rachel and Ripley or Tracy and Spencer about new carpet, hardwood, tile, or luxury vinyl flooring. Many of these options are in stock and ready for you to take home today. Maybe you want to give your walls their best look? Come in and pick out your new favorite color or have us color match to the one you just can't live without. Our best look paint and primer in one is your only choice for superior quality at an affordable price. Hardman's, our family serving yours since 1907. We welcome you back inside the castle. Final quarter to come. Roan County trailing by 12. They, they trailed by 10 in at the half. And uh, they made a couple of runs to get it down to six, but uh, the Bison just able to keep the Raiders at bay at the moment. Yeah, a lot of that is the uh, command that Ian Thompson has had with this offense. Six assists. And Caleb Nutter knocking down six three-pointers. Yeah, that's been the major difference is hot shooting and good ball movement for the Bison. Raiders with possession to begin the final quarter. Do they have a comeback in their midst? Caldwell spins high side, beautiful hard layup. Sean had to work for that one, split two defenders on the way up. Yeah, good job to keep your footing there after, I think that was Pitchford that tried to take that charge underneath. It's easy to get tangled up when a guy hits a floor underneath of you like that. Raiders have cut it back to the original halftime deficit of 10. Pass inside, tipped away, stolen by Roan County on the save. Taylor with the steal. Nick into the front court quickly. Puts the brakes on, hands it over to Cumston for three. Good! Another for Cam. And that cuts it right back down to seven to begin the fourth. Good job. See if Broke County can get another stop here. Yeah, nice job working the ball around the perimeter on that last one. Another big shot from Cumston. He's really come alive this year. Boy, a beautiful dish inside from Thompson, who found Nutter, who pumped, took it up. The shot is good and a foul coming on the Raiders. That's that is be... Ian Thompson just doing what he does, man. Yeah, good cut there by Nutter. A good concentration as well to take some of that contact and get the ball up on the rim. Well, you know you're an unselfish player when you average basically seven assists per game. And Thompson, he yep, wastes no time with those looks. He's right on the mark at that now with seven in this one. And Nutter misses on the three-point play opportunity. Roan County still down single figures. Cumston driving baseline right, picks up the dribble. And, and picked up the pivot, pivot foot. Travel. Picked up the pivot foot as well with 
for that dribble drive. 50 to 41, Bison by nine. Six and a half left in the game. Inside Thompson returned the favor back to him by Harris, but Thompson got so far into the basket, he couldn't get it to fall. Roan County basketball off the rebound. Cottrell, right side, out top it goes. Now they're going to dump it over the defense. Ooh, dangerous. Caldwell couldn't hold on. Long rebound in the corner. Who touched it last is the question. To be off on Shea. Yeah, Shea got there quickly over right near the Roan Riots. Now Bison possession. Thompson rifles it left side. Harris out top to Thompson. Smalley holds it high, dumps it in, tipped twice into the hands of Harris again. Tipped again, though, by Rogue County, stolen by Caldwell. Into the front court, Cumston. Muscles it up, and we got a whistle, and Harris charged with the foul. We're, we're almost, well, actually, we're two minutes going by in the fourth, and Rogue County in the first quarter had 18 fouls. Both teams combined here so far in the second half with six. A much different quarter. Or a much different half. Yeah, and maybe that's the teams realizing those things that they're not going to be able to get away with in this ball game, or if the officials are maybe letting it go a little bit more. You know, you, you see that in <clears throat> different officiating styles. You can either be loose at a beginning of a game and let things go, and then try to tighten it up later. This crew try to set the tone early with a tightly called first half, and then maybe letting a little bit more of it play out down the stretch. Thompson misses on the first. That one hit all sides and popped out at the last second. Trying to make it an eight-point deficit. And he'll hit the seconds. Lead is eight for the Bison. 5.55 left. Raiders picking up at half court. Out top, Nutter between the circles. Still look to attack in the paint. Dishes, Smalley gives it to Pitchford. Nowhere to go with it. Good recovery defensively for the Raiders. Harris. Backs it all the way back out on the right side. Now top Harris, one hands it, that, Pittsburgh. That opposite block, Thompson down there looking for the ball. Now Nutter loses his foot and keeps the dribble in the lane. Misses, gets his own rebound, shot swatted twice. <laughs> Cumston got the first one, and then Caldwell finished off the block. Good job though by Nutter again following that shot. Thompson rifles at corner right. Pittsburgh going to pull the trigger. Wow. Is there anybody on this team that can't shoot? It not does tonight. not seem like it tonight. Pittsburgh for three, and that brings it back out to 11. Harper going to try to match. Three, three, wide open, and he misses way short. That one airballed. Five minutes left in the game. Harris gets by the defense, and right from behind, good job by Cumston. Picking the pocket, knocking it out of bounds. Wallace back in with the three fouls, replacing Smalley. Right baseline inbound for Ian Thompson. No look dish out to Nutter, into the paint, shot put up, swatted. And now a foul on the rebound. If that's Wallace, that's number four. Nope, it's gonna be Nutter on the reach instead. And now some backcourt pressure for the Bison. 2-2-1. Well, two, two, Looking to pass out of it. They will. Now an attack coming. Harper pumps at the block. Layup misses. Off the rim. Boy, it hit the backboard, hit the left side, hit the backboard. I thought it was going in on the other side. Here's Thompson spinning into the lane. Picks up the dribble. And they will bring it all the way back out top with 425 and a timeout coming. For the Bison, 53-42, Buffalo leads it with 425 left in the contest. Although fall weather is beautiful here in West Virginia, falling leaves and brush piling up can turn your property ugly in a hurry. That's when you call on the pros at Hildreth Supply on Arnoldsburg Road. Hildreth Supply has a large inventory of Husqvarna chainsaws and Shindawa leaf blowers to tackle your toughest yard work. Visit us on the web at hildrethsupply.com, check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oilfield Supply, or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hildreth Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all Roan County athletes. 
4.25 remaining in the game. Roan County unable to get closer than six here in the second part of the second half. This fourth quarter, the Raiders cut it down to seven once, but Matt, man, it just seems like the Bison are ready to shoot tonight, and it doesn't matter who it is. Pitch for the latest to bury a three. Yeah, ten threes been knocked down here by the Bison tonight. It's tough to beat a team when they shoot that well from outside. Nutter with six, and then Harris Williams, Smalley, and Pitchford each chipping in. Thompson wants to attack down the lane, got swatted, and last touch by Thompson. Nice job by Caldwell. He's made some big plays here in this fourth quarter yeah, we've defensively. Seen, we've seen three really good defensive plays by Caldwell just in this fourth quarter alone. The Raiders handle the pressure here. Harper crossing down in the corner left. Cumston. And a whistle, and Cumston's going to be whistled for a foul. I going to say he threw the elbow out, but really didn't look like he even made contact with anybody. Cumston is befuddled, his third foul. And that doesn't help Rome County's cause with four minutes left in this one. Thompson quickly into the front court. Man, is he fast. Nutter lobs it over to Pitchford on the right side. He'll bring it all the way back out top. A little bit of a four-quarters kind of look. Now Harris driving into the lane, picks up the dribble, swatted away. Thompson, though, with a loose ball back in the hands of Pitchford for the finish. One of those 50-50 balls not going Roan County's ways right now. Yeah, tough go of it. Shea Harper made a good play on that one with the block shot. Harper in the lane, and somebody got a reach in on the drive. And that'll be Thompson. As Smalley looks to check in, he'll replace Wallace, just the second foul. On Ian Thompson, 326 left, Roan County down 13, 55-42. Harper takes the inbound left side, dumps it back to Cumston inside. It ends up in the hands of Cottrell, and that is a look-see here, I got it. That ball was tipped away by a defender, and it's landed into the hands of Cottrell. Mid-court line, crossing to Pittsburgh. Boy, Bison a little out of sorts. Harris gets it, though. Off to Nutter, he'll attack, layup, misses, rebound underneath, ripped away by the defender by Harper. Shea, quickly to the front court, we're less than three minutes in. Here comes another three, comes to misses short, long rebound, Nutter, and he is going to very wisely put the brakes on. He doesn't like it, but probably a better decision. He was looking to throw the home run ball, but in this situation, that's very smart. Yeah, he ends up with a basket. Just a nice floater in the lane, and he has lit up the scoreboard here tonight. Now Cumston splits a pair of defenders, and on the third one, that's going to be Thompson with a reach-in foul. Cumston trying to split the defenders right there at half court. Somebody had to be called for that one. That was a most like a double takedown. McTaylor back in the ball game. Comes it out top, fires it over right wing, Cottrell. Pass tipped, stolen. Nutter got a hand in and deflected it to Pitchford. 2.20 left. Again, we mentioned this the last game, we didn't see a lot of it, but the Bison hand, hands-wise are so fast. Now Harris in the lane, missing on the 14-foot jumper. Down the court, Rome County. Step back three for Cumston, misses short, long rebound, Cam comes to get it. Harper back out top. They'll swing it right side. Every pass is dangerous. Here's another three attempt by Cam. Missed high rebound for Caldwell. Oh, and Caldwell trying to save it in, just threw it off the head of Pitchford. Pitchford's like, oh, man, that hurts. Yeah, that was uh, close quarters. <laughs> oh, that insult to injury because Pitchford got the reach in foul. Caldwell bleeding again. Pitchford with the bump, and Caldwell, before the whistle was blown, fought, was falling out of bounds, Matt, and he just threw it to try to save it in, and Pitchford's <laughs> head was right there. Roncati down 13 with 151 left. We need them all to fall now. 
One and one for Caldwell. That one misses. Harper, though, in to grab the board. Here's Taylor for three. Good! Nick Taylor brings a big three. Touch it back down to 10, but Rowe County not back on defense. <laughs> Buffalo does that so well. Yeah, how many times did we see that last night? Now Smalley steps in front of the interior pass and seals it away. Harper immediately fouls with 1.30 left on the clock. Man, you just the highs and lows of playing Buffalo. Yeah, you make a big shot over here on the wing. A uh, big shot there from Nick Taylor. And they just fall asleep on defense. You let a guy get over the top on you. We saw we did that a few times last night. Let the big guy get out and run the floor. They're from South Harrison. You just got it. You made a good play. You got to get back on defense. Thompson gets by one defender. Harper almost swiped it away. Shea's got four fouls now. He's got to be very careful. Nutter in the lane. Had it picked away. Picks it back up. Out top. Harris attacking. Bouncing. Thompson open. Now, Rome County has had to extend their defense mat half court all over the place, and that's this is not the team you can, really can do that against. Well, not tonight, especially the way they've been shooting the ball. Shea attacking, Rome County down big. Harper can't get the shot to roll in, but he's fouled. 54 seconds left in the game. Rome County down 14, though. It's Smalley, that'll be his fourth. Shea will shoot two. And the first one hits the front of the rim, pops over top. Now you've got to have some steals here and some threes down the stretch. Yeah, maybe a little too late. You've got a 12-point lead. You've got to have four possessions in and get the stops. Now it's a 12-point deficit as Harper hits both. Rome well, County, will they foul is the question at Cottrell Will. So just a couple of seconds off of the clock, 51.8. And that is just the 16th foul, so the Raiders will have to do it yet again. This will be number four on Cottrell. So Cottrell and Harper both with four. Nutter looking, struggling, finding nobody. Harper stepped in front, almost stole it, slides. Towards the road, Ryan. Boy, that was a great attempt. It ends up, though, another big pass from Thompson. My goodness, Thompson just rifled that from half court underneath to Harris. And now Rowan County steps on the end line. So 41 seconds remaining in this one. The Raiders' hopes almost completely dashed. 63-49. Thompson throws it all the way into the back court. And a foul coming for Cumston. And it will be one plus the bonus for Caleb Nutter. Bison will clear out the lane. Raiders need misses on this side and makes on their side. Nutter's got 27 in this ball game. Well, he misses. That helps Rome County. Here we go. Harper front courts. Raiders cannot afford to work at too many. Got to get a shot off quickly. Taylor, corner right for three. Is it another one? No, just short. Rebound Harris. Harris into the front court, and he will slow it down. 20 seconds left, and here comes Thompson. He won't take that one, and the Raiders will not foul. Final 10 seconds going to be run off the clock. Well, a valiant effort for the Raiders. Foul trouble early and absolutely insanely solid shooting from start to finish for the Bison. And they will exact revenge on the Raiders' home floor. 63-49, your final score. Break to take. When we come back, we'll recap the ball game, give you your stats, and your Willard C. Start your Auto Parts player of the game. Hi, this is Lisa Simmons inviting you to join the team of savings and visit Honest Fred's Flooring at 373 East Main Street, Arnoldsburg Road. We're the largest flooring warehouse in town and it's fully stocked with the latest trends in floor covering. All first quality with fair pricing, great values, and professional installation. Stop by or call today, 304-927-8082 or check us out on the web. Take a small drive to Big Savings. HonestFred.com New, new, 
new at jack garrett ford new work trucks available with redding classic two detachable service bodies the highest quality service body in the industry check them out today jack garrett ford's new year's sale is going on now too with super savings on quality used cars and trucks and now accepting special orders for new ford vehicles don't miss out visit jack garrett ford ripley road spencer today Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh. I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead. As long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just a start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock. Name says it all. For car insurance, it can't be beat. But hey, don't just take it from me. See for yourself why more than 90% of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year. Seriously. Your Erie Insurance Agent in Spencer is the Kirby Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 927-2544. That's 927-2544. Or visit kirbyinsurance.com. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town. McDonald's and Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage egg and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown. Great prices every day. McDonald's and Spencer. I'm loving it and so will you. McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances has been servicing Spencer and the surrounding area for over 50 years. McIntosh carries the finest selection of products to bring you the best value for your purchases. We are a full-line furniture, appliance, bedding, and hardware retailer who proudly supply Amana, Frigidaire, Vaughn, Brone, Lazy Boy, Whirlpool, Brown, and Maytag products. Shop local and support local businesses who support local athletes. We offer what the big stores won't, Sales, service, delivery, installation, and removal. Call 304-927-2700. Visit us on the web at macintosh.goretailer.com. Check out our Facebook page at Macintosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances. Or stop by and see us at 204 Market Street in downtown Spencer. We welcome you back inside the castle. Tough here, tough night here tonight for your Rome County Raiders. Uh, they fought valiantly against the Bison, but the Buffalo Bison just way too good shooting here tonight to begin to the middle and all the way to the end of this one as they defeat the Raiders 63-49. to You know, the Raiders playing very solid half-court defense throughout, but uh, they just could not stop really Nutter at uh, the first half, a little bit more Nutter in the second half, and then everyone else pitching in uh, as well. And then when Roan County got into a bind late in the game, they had to extend their defense and that left the lanes wide open and Thompson just really picked the Raiders apart down the stretch and it was just Rome County unable to get back into it they got to within seven late and uh, they couldn't get any closer just because of the way the game had progressed Rome County missed some shots in the second half that we could have uh, obviously uh, been well off to have they just didn't get them to fall started out very well here on senior night Rome County Starting Aiden Burr and Adam Smith. Of course, they were recognized before this one. And uh, Roan County quickly at the first minute and a half up 7-1. to one. And after that, it was uh, the Buffalo Bison shooting. Uh, they hit a 13-0 run to go up 14-7. to seven. Roan County cut it back to four and was fighting from behind the rest of the night. Uh, they'd get close. They'd get to four. They'd get to three. They'd get to six. And that was it. They just could not... Close the gap any further as the Bison continue to make the plays they needed to play. Rome County went foul trouble in the first half. That caused some problems. They had to mix up their lineups. Some guys who really I don't think had played much together. Didn't play poorly, but uh, there just wasn't that spark tonight that we had last night. Obviously, that's uh, uh, you, you're not going to have a come-down game from that, but 
it's tough to keep up the intensity that Roan County had last night, two nights in a row. And, uh, again, it doesn't help that the Bison just they didn't miss, man. It's one of those games where they were on fire, and that's how they win the game. Yeah, that's exactly how they won the game. You know, Nutter hit six threes. They hit ten as a team. Um, Thompson with ten assists facilitated the ball so well. And when a team fires off on all cylinders like that, it makes it extremely hard. And, and I think you're right with the rotations early. I think it got Roan County out of sorts. You know, you had guys that, you know, are used to a certain role. And, you know, we saw Keene get the start over Caldwell. Keene's been the one that's been coming off the bench uh, as far as the bigs go. And, and, and I think it just maybe messed up the timing a little bit. Um, but guys played well. I mean, the defense played as well as it could with a team that was shooting that, uh, you know, that well from that deep. You know, Nutter hit three of those in the first half from three feet from behind the line. I mean, there's not much you can do about that. Overall, though, Roan County rebounded the ball pretty well, 30 to 20. Uh, the advantage for the Raiders in rebounds. Ball movement was tough, 15 to 11. Advantage Bison and Rome County not able to generate a lot of turnovers because of the way that the Bison were moving the ball on their offensive side. It was a six to two advantage in steals for the Bison, but the big guys underneath played some good defense down the stretch as well. Six block shots to zero in favor of the Raiders. You know, Rome County was led offensively by Cam Cumston, 13 points. Two rebounds and two assists. Shea Harper with 10 points, six rebounds, three assists, and one block shot. Grayson Keene, eight points. He had 10 rebounds and two block shots. Coburn Cottrell, four points, four rebounds, and one assist. Sean Caldwell, four points, five rebounds, two assists, a steal, and three block shots. Ian Lance with three points. Nick Taylor with three points, one rebound, one assist, and one steal. Adam Smith with three points, one steal. And you already know Burr had a point and a couple <laughs> of rebounds. And then he had uh, Preston Green. He had a couple of assists to round out the scoring for the Raiders. For the Bison, it was pretty much the Caleb Nutter show. 29 points. Six three-pointers. He had five rebounds, two steals. And he had Bradley Harris with nine points, four rebounds, and three assists. Ian Thompson, five points, three rebounds, ten assists, and one steal. And he had Blake Williams with five points and a steal. Evan Smalley with seven points, three rebounds, and one steal. Nick Pitchford, seven points, three rebounds, an assist and a steal, and Cameron Wallace with one point, one rebound, and one assist. Jackson Mallett with a rebound to his credit. Add it all up, and you've got a 63-49 to 49 victory for the Bison over your Raiders. Joined up here at our vantage point by Coach Matt Brohard. Coach, a uh, couple things that happened in that first half. Obviously, the foul problems for you guys caused you into... Uh, some of the lineups that you haven't really used this year that you had to use, thought the guys really battled hard through that. But uh, there are nights when teams are shooting incredibly well, and tonight Buffalo was shooting incredibly well. They hit 10 threes, and by the time you guys had a chance to come back in the second half, you had to try to extend your defense, leave the middle wide open. It's just one of those things that wasn't going to happen at that point. Yeah, I mean, we scrambled around a lot early. Uh, like you said, there was some lineups that, I never thought we would ever play together, to be honest with you. And that was out of the foul trouble situation, man. I mean, you, know, you can't make excuses, but it was it was, <laughs> it was tough. Some, some tough waters there early on, man, just stuff we couldn't control. We battled, you know, we had it cut to, I think, 23-20 or something right there. At one point, Adam came in and made a big shot and some stuff like that. And uh, it just – a lot of things didn't go our way tonight, man. We we struggled. Foul trouble. It just got it. It got us into a funk early, man. We were never able to get into a real good flow with our normal rotation, just because guys were in and out a little bit with fouls. Um, and yeah, we tried to extend it late, and they got some easy stuff. We're we're not built to to press much. That's yeah. just not our not our strength. And having to do that kind of as a last ditch did allow them to kind of open things up a little bit there. 
Well, I, I thought that, uh, well, number one, we, we, we appreciate you, uh, no matter what, uh, honoring your seniors. That, that's, that's something that we've talked about with other, other teams. We'll see, you know, they'll get a senior night and they'll be honored before and they'll never see the floor. And, uh, you know, those guys haven't played uh, varsity ball much at all this year. And so you're, 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 you know, you're playing with fire early on in a ball game that you want to win. Uh, I thought the two of them did great in, in the first uh, minute and a half. You guys had a 7-1 lead. But whether it, that would have happened or not, that's a big deal for, for us. Right, man. It's, um, you know, Adam and, Adam and um, Aiden are great, great kids, man. They've both been with us all four years. Um, you know, mostly been JV guys, but they've, they've stuck through stuff and they've battled and they work hard every day. Uh, two outstanding kids, and that's kind of a tradition we've had here. You know, that's even back to, to Coach Alfred when I was still in high school. A lot of the times, traditionally, when we have the space to do it, if we don't have too many seniors, we've always started them. Um, but I was glad those guys were able to get in there and have a little bit of success tonight and, and go off this floor, not for the last time, but on their senior night recognition, be able to get something done. I was glad to see that happen. Well, let's talk about that. This isn't the last time. We'll be here Thursday night. Have you figured anything else out since last night? Uh, I think it's still going to be Wahama. Okay. Um, there's still a couple games that were played tonight that we're going to dictate some, some things. I think everybody knows the direction a couple of those are going to fall. Um, so I, it'll be Wahama or Richie. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Wahama. Okay. That'll be Thursday night right here at the Castle. Shake this one off, Coach. you got a good one coming here on Thursday night. Thanks, guys. Head Coach Matt Brohard, one final break to take, folks. When we come back, we will finish things up with our Willard Sea Star Auto Parts player of the game here from the Castle. Oh, what a night. Late December back in 22. Car broke down and then I felt so blue. I remember what a night. We had very cold weather in December of 22. Don't let your car break down on you. Be proactive and keep it in the best shape possible. Check your battery, chassis parts, brakes, alternators, starters, wiper blades, rotors, and filters. Then go to Willard Starters to get the good stuff. Don't break down in the cold. Keep your car running with the quality parts from the professional staff at Willard Starters. Dial 304-927-2520. Willard Starters parts can help keep your car running. We welcome you back inside the castle, wrapping things up here tonight on Tuesday nights. Rome County unable to get it done against Buffalo. 63-49, to your final score. Rome County now 6-14 and on the season. Time now for Matt White to distribute our Willard Sea Star Auto Parts Player of the Game Award. Well, as per tradition on senior night, you honor your seniors. And Coach Brohard said it as well as anybody could. You know, Adam Smith, Aiden Burr, two guys that, you know, see JV action – more often than not but they've stuck with the program you know they're good kids and they're good character guys and they're adored by their peers so you know to me that means more than any stat line you can ever give somebody so you know congratulations adam smith aiden burr our senior players of the game we'll be back in action again as coach brohard mentioned on thursday night right here at the castle still not sure about jv still not sure if it's going to be wahama or maybe richie county we'll know by tomorrow exactly who the opponent is and exactly when the time is we won't we, we know one thing is it'll be right here at the castle that'll do it for us here tonight final score 63 49 rome county falls to buffalo for our entire broadcast crew george allen our studio technician back at wvrc control Katie Nutter, our camera person, Matt White, color commentator and statistician. I'm Andrew Miller. Have a wonderful night, everyone. High School Raider Boys Basketball on WBRC.